we have three I Atlas updates, and maybe even our finest chance yet to plainly view the third interstellar entity ever found passing through our solar system. ESA recently found something near 3I Atlas that cannot occur based on our present knowledge of comets. Imagery taken by the Exxon Mars Trace Gas Orbiter reveals a diffuse, glowing blob, acting unlike any comet we've ever recorded. Its measured negative polarization came in at 2.77%. That figure is so extreme that researchers are rushing to revise their models. Its dropping mass, evidenced by a surrounding gas cloud produced as it warms while approaching the sun. This traveler between stars exceeds 33 billion tons, about a thousand times the mass of a typical comet. Yet it shows virtually no gravitational wobble, even while actively venting gas. The timing looks perfect, maybe too perfect, as its path sat within only five degrees of Earth's orbital plane, and it arrived exactly when Mars, Venus, and Jupiter were ideally arranged for observation. The European Space Agency put out these pictures on October 7, 2025, just days after 3I Atlas came nearest to Mars at 18.6 million miles. In the image, the halo around 3I Atlas spans roughly two resolution elements, two pixels, with widths roughly half as large. If space mysteries hook you, hit subscribe to keep up with this unfolding story. What's especially remarkable is that ESA captured them with gear never intended for this purpose. The CAS camera on the ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter was designed to image Mars's surface from only a few hundred miles up. Nick Thomas, the camera's principal investigator, acknowledged the observation was incredibly challenging. The comet was between 10,000 and 100,000 times dimmer than their standard targets. Even so, they pulled in data that's reshaping our understanding of interstellar objects. The frames show 3I Atlas as a bright, fuzzy nucleus wrapped in what scientists refer to as a coma. But this halo doesn't match a run-of-the-mill comet. The visible haze stretches roughly 680 miles from the nucleus. Big, yes, until you recall Hubble saw it reach 4,000 meters when the body was much more distant. That apparent shrinkage doesn't mean the comet is diminishing. It's simply that the CASIS camera sees only the brightest, densest portion of the gas cloud. Harvard's professor Avi Lowe has been poring over these images intensively. His group found the object's brightness profile fails to match any known comet. Ordinarily, sunlight scattering from cometary dust yields predictable polarization patterns, basically how the light waves align after reflection. But 3I Atlas breaks those expectations. Its strongly negative polarization implies dust grains fundamentally unlike anything in our solar system. They may be rougher, more irregular, or made of materials we've never encountered. Where it gets truly bizarre is in the mass estimates. Drawing on data from 227 observatories worldwide, researchers followed tiny path deviations from outgassing, ice turning to vapor, and providing small thrusts. Those deviations were astonishingly small, under 50 feet per day of acceleration. For something venting gas visibly from millions of miles, that feeble push points to one conclusion. The object is extraordinarily massive. For perspective, the famous interstellar visitor was pegged at about football field size with a mass near 100,000 tons. 3I Atlas, at 33 billion tons, is literally 330,000 times heavier akin to a pickup versus an aircraft carrier. The nucleus by itself is estimated at three to five miles across, excluding the surrounding gas cloud. That enormous mass poses a challenge to conventional theories. Given estimates for rocky material density in interstellar space, we shouldn't expect objects this large to pass through our solar system. The odds are microscopic, yet here it is, arriving at just the right time to be seen. Chemistry adds another layer of mystery. The Sphere X Space Observatory saw carbon dioxide reaching at least 216,000 miles from the nucleus. That's nearly the span from Earth to the Moon. But here's the odd part. Though CO2 is common in comets, its distribution around 3I Atlas defies the usual pattern. The gas seems to erupt in discrete jets rather than uniformly, hinting at an irregular surface or even artificial venting sites. Trajectory analysis may reveal the most intriguing anomaly. The object's path is lined up with our solar system's ecliptic, the flat plane of planetary orbits, 
to within 4.89 degrees. Statistically, such alignment has under a 1% chance of happening by accident. More curious still, its arrival direction sits within 9 degrees of the origin point of the famed WOW signal in 1977. That was the enigmatic radio burst some once suspected could be extraterrestrial communication. The timing of 3i Atlas's appearance feels almost orchestrated. It cleared Mars when the red planet was ideally placed, will swing by Venus at a great angle, and reaches perihelion just as Jupiter offers a helpful gravitational assist for any follow-up path. Such alignments would impress even a targeted mission. For a random interstellar passerby, they're almost unbelievably lucky. ESA's Mars Express tried to capture Spectra, the object's chemical fingerprint, but the first results are puzzling. The Omega and SPICOM spectrometers reported unusual elemental ratios. Preliminary reports hinted at nickel without iron, an almost impossible natural pairing. But scientists are being cautious pending more data. What we're seeing challenges the fundamentals of how comets form and behave in our solar system. Comets come primarily from two reservoirs, the Kuiper Belt beyond Neptune and the Oort Cloud at the far edge of the Sun's reach. Those regions are cold enough to keep ices stable for billions of years, but 3I Atlas likely formed around a different star entirely, perhaps under conditions we can't replicate or fully understand. Dr. Suzanne Fner has floated a compelling idea. Objects like 3I Atlas could be planetary seeds. Her simulations indicate that a large interstellar body entering a young solar system's gas and dust disk could act as a ready-made core for planet formation. Rather than taking millions of years to grow from tiny grains, a planet could assemble rapidly around such an alien seed. If so, some planets in our galaxy, maybe even in our own system, could host cores that began around other stars. Right now, the object is racing toward the Sun at 134,000 miles per hour and still accelerating. It hits perihelion, its closest approach, on October 30th, 2025, at roughly 60 million miles from our star. That's closer than Venus's orbit, exposing it to intense heat and radiation. Scientists are watching to see whether it fragments or its outgassing ramps up dramatically. The European Space Agency has lined up multiple assets for continued monitoring. Mars Express and the ExoMars orbiters will keep tracking the object as long as they can. The Juice Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer, currently en route to Jupiter, will try for observations from another angle. However, communications delays mean much of that data won't arrive until early 2026. NASA's role has been frustratingly limited because a government shutdown overlapped the Mars flyby. While the Perseverance rover seems to have caught 3i Atlas as a streak in Mars's sky on October 2nd, detailed analysis from NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, whose high-resolution high-rise camera could reach about 30-mile resolution at this range, remains unavailable. That shutdown timing raised eyebrows among scientists. As Lowe noted, NASA's public streams going dark right during an interstellar flyby feels remarkably convenient especially given the object's unusual traits. Even so, ESA's openness has helped fill the gap, with citizen scientists downloading and processing some raw images before official releases. What comes next could upend our understanding of interstellar objects. If 3i Atlas survives its solar close pass intact, it will head back to interstellar space, after coming within reach of several major observatories. The James Webb Space Telescope has assigned emergency observing time, though results won't appear publicly until after peer review. The implications extend well beyond a single odd comet. If objects like 3i Atlas are more common than assumed, it implies interstellar space holds many massive bodies we've just overlooked. If they're as rare as statistics say, we must explain why we're lucky enough to catch one. And if, as some quietly suggest, this isn't entirely natural, then we're seeing something that could redefine our place in the universe. The next few weeks are critical. As 3i Atlas nears the Sun, changes in behavior, structure, or composition will offer key clues to its nature and origin. Every capable telescope is tracking it, building the most comprehensive observation campaign for an interstellar object in history. This story is nowhere near over, and the revelations are only beginning. If this deep dive into 3i Atlas grabbed you, please hit like 
It helps the channel reach more space fans. Subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss updates as new data arrives. Drop a comment with your theory about what 3i Atlas really is. And share this video with someone who loves space mysteries as much as you do. The universe just handed us a puzzle wrapped in a mystery, hurtling through our solar system at incredible speed. Whatever 3i Atlas turns out to be, we're witnessing history as it happens.